Hey everyone, my name is Brian. I'm the product manager of Launchbox and welcome to the theme stream. So sorry, uh, there's no stream this week, but I wanted to record this video for everybody so that I can uh, maybe show you something uh, different, something that uh, you can do, a little tool in your repertoire for when you're doing theming. And, uh, uh, and then hopefully you will come back next Friday and uh, join me in the stream that will take place. So what is what are, what are we doing this week? I basically want to show you how you can create your own sort of theme development launch box build that will help you when you're creating things like custom images or wanting to see what your theme would look like with different platforms. And there's a few different steps that we'll have to take and let's jump right in. Let me show you what, what I mean by this. The first thing that you'll eventually, you'll of course want is uh, the newest version that you possibly can get of the community theme creator for big box. So this is something that you can download on our community, uh, on our community forums in our download section. So you'll see this download section, the way that I found it. I mean, there's a couple ways. One, it's pretty highly rated. So it's right here at number two slot. So you can just click right there in our downloads link, or you can go down to third party apps and plugins. And it should be one of the top ones today. It looks like it is the top one, which means it had uh, the most recent update. And you can click there and click the download file button. Once you have that, what you'd want is you'd want to set up probably, uh, so you can see I've already downloaded it here. And what I'll do, there's all the files that you'll need. I will probably set up, uh, you can see I have a bunch of different ones, theme creator. I'm going to call this like the theme developer build. Something like that. And uh, let's just copy all the contents in there. Okay, so essentially this is what you're gonna see me do. You're gonna see me download a version of the Community Theme Creator, which I did. We're gonna need a new uh, separate install of LaunchBox somewhere uh, where your main LaunchBox is in it. And we're gonna call that one also like the theme developer uh, build of LaunchBox. And then you're going to see me generate the entire games database library is going to be generated within text files uh, and the community theme creator can help you with that. So all the platforms and all the games are going to be represented in these dummy files, which you can then use to import into LaunchBox, which then the community theme creator will use uh, that data that's within your theme build theme developer build of LaunchBox. So let's take a look. Oh, I do have this open. Let me close this up, guys. And we're going to open this version. The first thing you're going to notice is since it's a fresh build, it's going to ask you for your name. Sure. If you have any social media or anything like that, I don't know, I'm just going to put my name in there. And the only reason this is useful is because uh, when you do publish your theme, there'll be uh, there'll be a little comments within your files with this information. We're gonna navigate. Okay, so before we do that, I have made an install and I'll show you where I put it. You can put it anywhere you want. I have this sort of LaunchBox resources area and you can see here I installed a LaunchBox theme dev version. <laughs> and in here you can see that I have uh, a version, the newest version of LaunchBox and uh, it's just an install that I can use. So let's take a look at that. I'm just gonna point this version of the Community Theme Creator to that version of LaunchBox. There it is. Even if you don't have, uh, you're not required to have a license in there, you can put your license in there if you want, not a requirement. Press OK. And here, what I'm going to do is go to utilities and say, build a fake ROM list. If I click that all of a sudden behind me, you'll see this blue notification saying, Hey, this is going to take a while because we're generating lots and lots of files. So 
uh, yeah, just, just hold on tight and you'll see a message when it's completed. Now, if you want to take a look at what it's doing while it's doing it, you can go in here. You can see that a new folder has been created called fake ROM list inside of there. You'll see that new folders are created. Each folder represents a platform and it's generating this based off of the our launchbox games database so every single folder and every single game will be named exactly the way that you would want it to be named to be added to the launchbox games data or be added to launchbox so i mean let's take a look let's take a look at one of these how about atari lynx if i jump in there you'll see that there's text files the text files i don't believe okay so each text file has the title and the launchbox games database id if you really want to do that or if you need to know that information and each file name is the name exactly the way it's named to be uh, it within our launchbox games database giving you the perfect the perfect list that will work a hundred percent if a user has added it in the same way oh well, there you go so the process finished and it opened the folder to the right spot okay so that step is now completed we can now jump to launchbox so i'm going to jump over to that version of launchbox theme dev version and I'm going to open it up and while that opens up I'm also going to go into here and you can see here I've already added basically almost every system and the way that you would do that and I'll show you how to do that so let's say I wanted to add 3do no, let's say I wanted to add Amber Pegasus. I go in here and I go into Amber Pegasus and I say, hey, there's a bunch of games. Now you have the option of either, are you wanting to add every single game? Well, that's obviously gonna slow down launch box but you'd want to at least add some games for every system you would only add every game of a system if you're wanting to use that information or you want to download images for every single game within our games database you can do that so that you can use them for custom images or something like that uh, in my use case what i usually do oh no i don't want to download a beta version right now what I probably want to do is just add every single platform into LaunchBox so that I have a version of LaunchBox that I can test and see uh, what all of their logo, I can add logos for each one. I can basically be able to publish a theme, being able to test that theme for any single platform available within the LaunchBox database. And that's really the goal here. So I'm gonna take one of these files i'm going to drop them in here i'm going to say yeah it's a rom file i'm going to call it the amber pegasus there it is next uh you're going to have to add an emulator so i'm just going to add i just added the same retro arch that i have uh, on my computer point to the same exact exe as other launch boxes i'll just say use it in the current location download the metadata for that game i don't want to download anything so uncheck that uh okay uh nothing there uh, i don't need to choose anything in this screen and it's going to show that the name it's going to find it because it's the exact same name as within our games database and we're going to finish you'll see down at the bottom it's going to refresh the launchbox games database and this is where the power is being held right this is where uh the community theme creator pulls its information. It's basically a file within every single LaunchBox uh, version that holds all of the metadata information for every game within the LaunchBox games database. That's what it is. And that's what uh, the community theme creator reads in order to generate its gaming library. 
uh, in order to generate the files that you just saw generated. Uh, and it's what LaunchBox uses to download and in import metadata for your games. So you can see there, it's imported. It's got one game. It's good enough if we had any logos or platform information associated with this, it will automatically download and add it to your LaunchBox. So you can see here, it's downloaded uh, metadata for developer, manufacturer, the release date, memory. Uh, unfortunately, no, no logo for that system. It's got notes, all the stuff that you can now utilize within the community theme creator. All right, so we're good there. We have our list of every single uh, system. You would just go through every single system. You would have to add as many games as you want for each system. And you can see that some of our my systems, I'll just add one game. Some system, I'll add every game. Some systems, I've downloaded artwork already. It really depends on, on what you want. And you can keep building this up the more that you, you theme. Okay, so now all I have to do, load up the theme creator. And uh, let's say I wanted a new theme. I wanted to create a uh, custom, let's say I wanted to create custom marquees. No, for, for platforms. So I would go to custom marquees create this theme I click or put my mouse over this side you'd see that this window pops up these modifiers is what I basically want uh, we're in views we can go to custom images custom platform images you can see you got lots of uh, different profiles that you can use for games or platforms and now I can build Let's say I wanted to build a 720p uh, image for every single one of my platforms to be displayed on a second screen as an example. Now I can sit there and say, okay, image type clear logos. Let's see, platform clear logo, I can place it on the side here, what else am I allowed to do? I can embed the release date on the side here, but maybe I, maybe I just want the release year to showcase that. I'll put it on the right side there. I'll make this nice and big, which means I'll need to auto size it so that it's uh, fits the size of the text that I want. Maybe I want there to be a background. So I'll put this in the background. Let's see what kind of uh, stuff I'm allowed to do here. Maybe I should have done that. <laughs> Device fan art. You can see I don't have much fan art, uh, so that was a, a little bit of a <laughs> foo bar. I do have a banner, so <laughs> let's say I wanted the banner as an example, and then I can place it here, and then let's say I wanted, let's say I wanted a rectangle, put that in the background, full screen that, and do a gradient where we've got a point at the bottom, a point at the top. The point at the top could be something like darkness. Oh, let's go to the top, the actual top. There we go.
you know, and then we can just keep adding more stuff to it if we want. Like the cart. I don't know if I have any of these default stuff. I'm, I, I don't, but you can always add it to your, uh, to your folder structure. You could also add you know, developer devices. You can add uh, the name. So maybe I can do that. Platform, title, nested name. So if we did platform, it would look for images within that platform. So let's, let's do this instead. So instead of another image, why don't we add text and that text will be the platform name. We'll make this a bit bigger and we'll change the font to any font that's installed on your computer. We can even color it if we want to something a, a, a little maybe not a, a radial gradient but maybe something like this Give it a nice, we can add extra points here, as many points as we want. Look at that, something like that. And then this point can be brought down a little bit. There you go. We can even move that. I don't know if I can uh, <laughs> make it straight. It's probably easier to move it here. Maybe move it closer to the top. And we'll make it a little smaller by decreasing that. Okay, so let's say we wanted something like that underneath this. Who knows what you'd want. The point of this is that now I have the ability to go in and be able to test it out with every single one of the systems that I have. You can, show, you can see which banners are missing, which uh, clear logos are missing. You can add them to it. You can force it to use custom clear logos, custom banners if you wanted to. And because I have every system installed in this theme developer build, I can then go up here and publish this theme. No, sorry, not publish it. I can render custom images for all platforms. And you'll see here that it's just going to cycle through every single platform that I have installed, which was 169 of them and be able to generate custom images for all of them just because I have my developer theme build. And what I can do, like once I populate and get the images that I want in here, I can use these from now on for any theme that I ever create, allowing me a quick view of every single system uh, to make sure that my theme is functioning properly with those systems. And yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys this time. And uh, hopefully you found it useful and be ready for a live stream next Friday. I'll hopefully be back then. Yeah, I should be back. Uh, until then, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful rest of Friday and the weekend. And uh, take care, everybody.